I have sort of a fascination with real life house floor plans that I spend a lot of time looking at and sometimes judging them online. And oftentimes I'll find ones that I want to try and recreate in The Sims. And today I found another one that I think is really cute, but maybe a little bit impractical for the game. You'd think that would be reason to like not build it in The Sims, but that's actually why I want to try. This is actually a super small house and maybe even one that we could make into a tiny home in game. And it is super cute from the outside, but I do feel like maybe the inside isn't utilized in the best way for The Sims. It has this mudroom space, which is really nice. Like in real life, this would be amazing. But when you're playing the game, you don't realistically need like a mudroom with like closet space or a laundry area. If I were building this and I wanted laundry, I would probably just try and sneak it into the bathroom and then make this into like an office or a second bedroom or something. But overall, this house is really not a complicated floor plan. It is just a square. So I feel like we can probably make it into a tiny home and then try and get those tiny home perks. And also this hopefully won't be too hard to follow if you're trying to learn how to build. I feel like you could probably pretty easily recreate something like this. So I'll link the floor plan that I'm going to use down below. This one is literally just a square. I'm not exactly sure how big I want to make it yet. Like I might have to adjust this a little bit because I feel like I almost want this to be larger. This is kind of where the scale messes up in The Sims because usually I'd make these rooms like a three by two, but I don't want this bedroom to be that small. Even this is maybe a little bit small for a bedroom. And then maybe I'll make the living kitchen space slightly bigger, walls slightly shorter. We'll give them a bit of a foundation. We do have a nice little deck right there in the front. And then there's also like a small back door in the back, which we really should not make that big if we're gonna try and keep this a tiny house. I guess we've got 84 tiles already, so it doesn't really matter that much. But with this, we're gonna get less bills and the Sims will be happier. If we manage to get it to just 64 tiles, they would get like double skill gain and stuff, but I'm, I'm not gonna try and make it that small. There's no point. We can keep this one challenge at a time, okay? Although I might actually make this a little bit smaller again. I'm feeling like that will make more sense for the kitchen. Okay, I'm pretty sure the roof in this picture is like extremely simple. Like they literally just have a roof like this. It's like just one big square attached to this front bit here. But in The Sims, I don't really love how that looks. So I might make all these rooms a tiny bit bigger. That way I can like expand this and have it not just be one single point at the top. I feel like it being a little bit wider looks a tiny bit better. Would it be better if it were like wide this way? Oh, that really complicates things though. This is also ridiculous. Like I almost want to make these rooms a little bit smaller, but that's not how the floor plan looks. I know this is like a floor plan challenge, but I really do feel like this looks a little bit better in game. No one needs a bathroom to be like five by two. That is ridiculous. I'd make it three by two and be happier. And I'd like the bedroom to be a little bit bigger too. So I, I think I'll keep it this way. Oh, this is stressing me out. I tried to tell you, it makes like very little sense in The Sims. I think if I were to do this for real, like how I want to do it, I might just get rid of the mudroom and the bathroom there all together and then like add a bathroom maybe on the side or something because that way we can have two bedrooms in this area. But I want to keep following the picture, but it's it just makes very little sense for us. Like this, this looks bad. <laughs> the back of this looks bad. Maybe I will scoot it more forward on the lot. And then I wonder if we could try and fit in. I don't know if we'll have enough money, but I wonder if we could try and fit in like a little bit of a backyard. The fence might be like a serious waste of money, but I do kind of like the idea of trying to have a more defined space back there. All right, I'm gonna use a bunch of the cats and dogs stuff on this because one, it's kind of cheap, <laughs> but also I think it'll look good. Okay, this might be a little bit close to the front of the lot, like a, a little bit closer than I had realized. Honestly, maybe the real challenge is just this being a square house. I came at this kind of like a floor plan challenge, but maybe the real issue is that it is a square. It's hard to like hide the squareness from the front of this. I feel like it looks kind of silly. I'm almost wanting to like make it a little bit skinnier, but that totally ruins the, the whole mudroom thing. But I feel like that looks a lot better from the outside. Okay, I wonder if I made it skinnier on this side. The bedroom's gonna be kind of a weird shape. That's not good, is it? You can't really fit a bed there. Okay, never mind. We can't make it smaller. It's gotta stay a square. We can make this work, okay? It is possible. It just it just might take me a second to like figure it out completely, <laughs> but it will work. We have a couple like decorative things I can add and I do think that helps. Oh, this is gonna be like a serious blue suburban too. I've really been trying to not keep building only blue suburbans, but like this time the picture was like this, okay? I've got an excuse, okay? I know I always make blue houses, but this one is not entirely my fault. This one is like partially 
actually the floor plan's fault. Although I, I did pick this floor plan. I think I wanna try and use a brick pathway there. And maybe we could put like a little brick patio in the back somehow, just so there's like a bit more color going on. Oh God, look, there's no windows in the back of the bedroom. They're just on the side. There's only a door and a window in the bathroom. So I think the back of the house actually looks like that. I don't love that. That that would really not be my first choice, but I guess if it saves us money, and I guess I'll be able to hide this with like a tree and some landscaping and stuff. I'm just gonna put like some wood deck on the patios there. The doors are also kind of interesting because there's a door to the bathroom from the bedroom and from the mudroom, which is actually kind of cool. I feel like I don't do that sort of thing very often. The mudroom also has like a closet right here built in, but we can't really do that. Like it's gonna be way too small. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to put in here. I think I might just pick some linoleum floors for now in there. You know what? I'm going back. I'm gonna like completely stick to the floor plan with this one. This is what it's actually supposed to look like. It's not great, but this is how the picture looks. So if we're gonna recreate the picture, we gotta do it for real. Although I can't do the bathroom like this. <laughs> the bathroom has many problems, okay? They have like the tub sideways, the toilet there, the window above the toilet. They would do it like this. And I, I don't think that we can do this and have it function right. We could also use a shower instead of a tub. And I'm gonna switch the side the toilet is on as well because I want there to be a little bit more space. I don't want the window to be like right there. That makes the back look even worse. <laughs> and I, I just can't do that. You know what? This is sad. <laughs> <laughs> this does look bad. Maybe I could use a tub. I guess I just like the idea of something taking up a little bit more space. And I wonder if we could do the sink and toilet here on this wall. Does that feel like it maybe uses the big area better? I can't really tell. Okay, annoyingly, there's also laundry in this house. We can put some like cute shelves and stuff. And then I wonder if I could maybe try and sneak in like a really skinny desk. This one from the base game is honestly kind of skinny. I bet if I scooted the door over or if we used like a one tile door, we could try and do something like that instead and then maybe have this room be like slightly multifunctional. Your sim can still get around there. Obviously it's tight, like it's not ideal, but it does still work. You know what? I'll be nice. They can have a window. Okay, this also gives us like a nice spot to put a porch light. We can put this one right here. I feel like that's nice. I think this is realistic. I don't really want it to be like all white everywhere. <laughs> I might have to change the colors, but I'm just gonna put some furniture in first. Right now I'm beginning to get a little bit worried about affording furniture. So why have I had this tiny house window open this entire time? I'm sorry. That was probably like really distracting and like blocking half the screen. Oh my God. They have so many kitchen cabinets. It's kind of nice though. They have the sink like right there in front of the windows. And then here we've got the, and then here we've got the oven and the fridge. You have to admit it is, it is a nice kitchen. It's a really big kitchen. And that's what the floor plan calls for. They even have an island. I know I've been spending this entire time like trying to recreate the floor plan exactly, but I'm not sure if an island is like the best use of this space. It makes it look kind of tight in here, but maybe that's okay. I guess I would otherwise put just like a single table there. So having an island might be nice. I probably should have used cheaper cabinets, but I don't want to. I really, really would like to have the nice ones. I would also really like to have a TV. Honestly, at this point, I am just putting in furniture to ensure that I can afford furniture. We can go back and change the colors after. I would really like to have a dresser. I'm not sure that I can afford it, but I like the idea of this, like the functionality of that is good. And it's nice and skinny, which is also kind of useful because it hopefully uses the space well and there's still like space to walk around the bed. You know what I really want is this bookshelf, but that is way too expensive. We cannot do that. Oh, you know what? Maybe one of these like mudroom type of closets could be a nice touch. I guess we could always get rid of the computer and like replace it with an actual closet thing like from the laundry day pack. I just like the idea of having a computer. Like I think it's a nice functional thing. Obviously doing this would save us a lot of money though. This one's even like a really nice hutch item that like fills in the space perfectly. So maybe that's better. Like maybe that's a more accurate representation of the floor plan, but is that also like sad? <laughs> like, is it is it bad to do that and like waste having a computer? Well, we're gonna need a hamper. It might also be kind of fun to put some like laundry utility room type decorations in here, like the broom. I'm kind of trying to go through and figure out what sort of cats and dogs items I can use. I'm trying to use only cats and dogs and laundry day in this. So this is like really expensive though. This 
this painting is 3500 so never mind. There is like a little dog bone doormat. Maybe we can put the doormat and then get like some pet bowls or something inside. Oh god, I also need a trash can. Before I forget, we're gonna need one of those outside. And I should probably put one inside. I just don't really want to. Like, I don't really want to have a trash can next to the front door like that. Maybe I could put it over here. And there is that like super cute shelf from Cats and Dogs. This one always feels like it's way too big to me. Like, I feel like it needs to be sized down one, but maybe I could do the shelf and the little bowls below it. Like, it's a little pet corner. And then they can have the trash can right next to their food. Sure. I might honestly just not put a trash can. I'm the type to just not bother with that in my builds, to be honest. Like, they've got a trash can outside. It's fine. They can go out there. I don't really love this dog bone doormat, though. <laughs> I might get rid of that. I like this one. I think this one is cuter. And it's got more color to it. That sort of ties in the blue with, like, the brick. I feel like that's a good thing. You know, I always feel like decorating the bathroom in these, like, cheap starter homes is a bad idea because it's kind of a waste of money. But, like, look how cute this looks. Isn't that so nice? Should I then continue that tile into the mudroom? I feel like I probably should. I also want to put some stuff, like, on these shelves. I wonder if I could, like, raise up some of the dog food or something. I mean, it does make sense that they would have, like, some extra dog food stored away in there. And that is only five simoleons. So that is a good, like, cheap decor item. Maybe they could have some pet treats in there, too. I sort of like the idea of these sims being, like, really big pet people. I feel good about this. I do think the bedroom needs a lot of work. I wonder if I could get a more expensive bed. We certainly can't get, like, a nice bed. <laughs> I think that would be a serious waste of money, but, well, maybe we could? What else do we need to buy? I guess I don't have a computer anymore, but there's no space for it, so it doesn't matter. I might do mostly debug landscaping, so as long as we just get a couple things in the backyard, maybe, like, a little table, we can have the trash can, and then, like, a tree in the back corner, that's probably fine, and then we still have 673, so I might be able to afford to keep this bed. I don't really like any of the colors. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. And then we could do like just a white dresser. Our floor plan house had an actual closet right here, like a, I assume, built-in closet. That's just not gonna fit, so we'll have to make the dresser work. I think I'll put books on the little bedside table, because then we actually have a bookshelf here. And the bedspread is like nice and enough color that we probably don't need to buy a rug. Oh, although I'm not really sure what color to paint the walls. Maybe that'll be okay. That's simple. Okay, and we have 541 simoleons left. I was wondering if I could use like a slightly cuter bar stool, but these are only 30 simoleons, so I, I probably can't pass up that opportunity. The rest of them are way more expensive, like 120, 135, so this is just way better. It would also be nice to have like some kitchen decor, even if it's just like a couple things, at least there's something on the counters. Okay, I think I'm kind of struggling to figure out how I want to paint the walls in here and like what sort of color scheme I want to go for. Well, okay, maybe this rug can like tie it together better. This chair from Laundry Day is really cheap. <laughs> it doesn't look good in here, but it's cheap. This one makes the most sense, I think. And then we have 125 simoleons. We also have this like big empty wall, which I'm kind of struggling with how to fill. I almost want to swap the door around and put it over there, because then maybe I could like center the pet bowl stuff and then put something else over here. This is going away from the floor plan slightly, but I do think it's better. Can I like size up this painting? I wish that it was horizontal instead of vertical. Well, you know what? I think Laundry Day might have some like cheap wall stuff. They're like shelves or something. Okay, this- no way. <laughs> It's exactly 125. Okay, well that might actually work. Oh, I don't like the colors that much. Well, maybe the gray one sort of adds something to the wall or it, no, this is probably bad. I want to like it, but it does kind of feel random. It is nice that it takes up a lot of space though. Cats and Dogs has like decals and stuff, but I'm not sure if those are a good idea either. Like what am I going to do? Put this on the wall? That <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we could just get like a singular pet calendar. That's kind of like a simple little touch. There's something there. And then I've got enough money to buy a little pet bed, which might be kind of cute. And then 40 simoleons to try and landscape the entire house. So hang on. We're gonna have to dig in some debug to get some free landscaping. Luckily, there is actually some really nice stuff. We can get some cute trees and things. I forgot how big these bushes are by default from debug. That is huge. Maybe I can put like two of these kind of in the corner there. Oh, the default bush is 30. That's too expensive. Okay, back to debug. Unless we can just do it with like the one flower. Maybe I don't need to put like low-lying flowers 
around everything. The debug ones are weird. The lighting is weird. We do have this one, but I don't know if I want to use that or not. Okay, well that might actually be nice to like fill in some of this space. It doesn't have to be really fancy. It's a small house. Like we can use some sort of simple landscaping. And I feel like a little bit of terrain paint will go a long way with this. We can sort of like fill in the yard a little bit more. Maybe put some like fake flowers or something. Oh, I could probably open up the backyard too. Give us like a open gate. You know what? I might even leave it at that. I feel like this turned out really well. I still think that the mudroom thing is kind of useless. <laughs> like, at least in The Sims. In a house this small, I probably wouldn't usually do an entire mudroom. I'd rather make it into an office, like maybe even a kid's bedroom or something, but it, it is kind of cool and it's very realistic, I guess. And it does look just like the floor plan. So we did succeed in that. And it's really simple. The roof is really simple. It's just a couple pieces there. The floor plan itself is really simple. So hopefully this is easy to follow and like maybe recreate if you wanted to try and practice some building. I guess I also don't really include laundry in my builds all that often, so it's kind of fun to do one that has it. That's mostly because I find laundry a little bit annoying in game. Like it's kind of buggy, so it's really irritating to use, but hey, this house, this one is entirely inspired by dogs and dirty clothes. So if you enjoyed this video, I do a lot of builds here on my YouTube channel. So feel free to subscribe. I also do a lot of building on my Twitch channel, but that is all live. So if you want to come build with us live on twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy, I play a lot of Sims over there. But with that being said, I'm going to end this video right here. So thank you for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. Honestly, a square house like this is kind of the hardest one to do a floor plan for because it's so simple. There's not a lot to work with. It's really tough to fit rooms into just one big square like this.